farming to environment, we visited Woodland Valley Farm. On this trip, we noticed a lot of things from the integrated farm management wheel, such as soil management and fertility, animal husbandry, energy efficiency and water management. We started our day at the farm by having an introduction by Janet the farmer, who explained how her farm has been organic since the early 2000s. She then took us on a tour of the farm where we counted worms and collected soil samples to test the pH level. On our tour we saw many intriguing species like frogs, moths, butterflies, caterpillars and there were also beavers, but we did not see them. Also there were many plants such as timothy, coxfoot, clover and chicory, which Mama Janet told us was edible. Renewable energy. Being an organic farm, Woodland Valley also generates their own electricity. The farm uses wind, turbines and solar panels, which are natural energy resources. Some of this electricity is used to power their electric fences, which are used to keep the animals in certain spaces. The electric fences were also used for mob grazing. Woodland Valley Farm focuses a lot on organic farming and feeding animals natural food. The main way they do this is mob grazing. This is putting animals, usually cows, into small areas of grassland and would move them on when necessary. The cows would be in their area for a period of time and in that time they would eat the grass and would have stamped over the ground and fertilised it with their waste, making the area perfect for growing more grass again. Only feeding the cows grass makes the cows healthier because they don't eat food that's full of chemicals and unhealthy products. Farmers did not like the docks as they caused overgrowth and conflicted with other growths of plants. However, farmers really liked the chicory and how they would put them into their salads. We also had a demonstration and some of us tried some. There were black locusts that were really common in the farm and were lying at the bottom of most of the fields. While other groups did worm counting, we went through the fields searching for different types of plants like coxfoot and chicory. Worm counting. In some of the fields at Woodland Val Valley Farm, we did some worm counting. To do this, we had to take a 20 centimetre by 20 centimetre hole and go around 10 to 20 centimetres deep. Then we began to rummage through the soil to find the earthworms. We found around 10 worms and one leather jacket. After, after we started to identify the adult and juvenile worms, we did this by, by inspecting them and seeing if they had the saddle, which is also known as the reproductive ring. Adults have this and juveniles do not. My group found the most worms in this, ar in this area of the farm. We think this was because it was towards the bottom of the field and it was quite damp. It was also raining at the time. One of the other groups found only five and the third group only found, um, found none. However, they believe this was because the soil was quite dry. Soil pH testing. Soil pH testing is done to measure the amount of acidity in the soil to work out the most beneficial plant or crop to grow in the area. This also helps farmers to map out their fields for the most efficient growing of crops. Soil pH testing is done by taking a sample of soil from each field and mixing universal indicator and barium sulfate and reading the colour to find out the pH. The beavers are good for the environment as using dams they filter all of the impurities out and make the lake clean. The dams that the that the beavers create help to nourish the surrounding area with water and the nutrients within it. The beavers were on country file in lockdown last year and everyone was educated on how they make a positive impact on the world around us. In conclusion, we all incredibly enjoyed our visit and have learnt a lot about the agriculture and methods that they have to take to improve and help the farm. It was educating and gave us a better understanding to the work that goes on in farming.